are 8,000 feet above sea level. This is ground zero for the best high school cross country teams as they get ready for the upcoming season. Everybody, even from like the lower guys, cross soft team, we're all really excited. Hopefully see what we can do this year. As these guys and girls come together, that really pushes us all the way through the season. It's, it's like a 24 seven bonding experience. <laughs> cross is obviously more of a team sport. And so just to get more of that team aspect going this season, it's awesome. <laughs> Cross country's cool now, you know, it wasn't cool when I was in school. It's so cool to see how much it's grown and accepted. And overall, ever since I started running, I just felt like a happier, better person. But running is different to everyone. Running means something to you, different to you, different to you. But I think it's taught me a lot of lessons in life, too, that I take way farther than just right here. So the goal is you have pride in everything you do, all aspects of life, not just running, but just being an individual, growing through adulthood. But we are out here in Mammoth, everybody, BRS, just tapping in with all the high schools, man, just showing love and bringing the love of running to the yeah. people. When they work day in, day out, getting the work done at the right paces, then good things happen. Some of those runs we call a rite of passage. It's doing it together as a team, and it really brings the team together. We try to have every step of the way to be an opportunity to lead and to learn. I think high school really gives the running world its true energy. It's really invigorating to be out here with them. Altitude camp sets cross country apart from other sports because it's a rite of passage for our team. Everyone knows it's going to be tough. We set up two runs during the week, which are really challenging runs. But when they finish that run, there's this overwhelming sense of accomplishment. And to do this together as a team builds that confidence in not only your abilities, but your team's ability. It's an opportunity to get a whole team together and we do goal setting up there. And the tone that comes out of Mammoth is what sets up the team for the rest of the season for us. One, two, three, four. That's it, use your arms. Turn all the way to the finish. This white line's your finish. That white line's your finish. The wrist should be almost to your ear where you're doing this. Your sprinters, look, your sprinters. So use that, and th that helps get you up the hill. We were hit so hard by graduation. So then the, the guys that were down below now have to step up, and most especially the, the top three spots filled in by the, the now seniors. You have to talk to yourself every single time you come Switch. up. We're doing five sets of three. Today, they're gonna do their, their speed work and what we use is this uphill, which is a loop. It's literally a little winding loop that takes them to the top, and then they jog back down to the start starting point, and then we come back up. Learning lesson, if there's a learning lesson, is whatever they choose to do, whether they go into law, whether they go into medicine, whether they go into business, whatever field they choose, there's going to be a rigor to it. There's going to be a day-to-day -day grind. And I think that's what this sport will instill. So they show up every day at 6.15 in the morning and they don't get home till 6 o'clock at night. And I think that's what gets them ready for what's out there, the, you know, what I call the real life.
go. You, you ready, Ant? Yeah, ready, we got ready. All right, what's happening, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? Are y'all familiar with Blue Ribbon Sports? Yeah, you know, like Blue Ribbon Sports, original name for Nike. We are now Nike, but this is us getting back to the roots of what got this company started. I'm trying to check in with myself. How do I feel physically, mentally, emotionally? Having a good day or a bad day, running makes it better. I truly believe if people run out, get some miles, their lives get better. You know? Real, Whether, bro. Does, pace doesn't matter. Just get out and move. Yeah. 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 Movement is running. medicine. Amen, hey, man, bro. Movement is medicine. Yeah. For real. Everybody's training hard and we're training hard too, but really this is I think what separates us from a lot of teams is these guys and girls come together and form a family and that really pushes us all the way through the season, even when times are tough. We do have separate team meetings, so we have a girls team meeting every night and that, the meetings themselves are, are really a time that they kind of relax, but really appreciate each other. So this is a game called Thunderdome, that, and uh, it's kind of like an improv game to get the team bonding. You like say like a, you have a topic and then you go back and forth and the last person to like kind of like mess up uh, is Alex. Maricosa, we're here to stay. We were here last year, we're gonna be here this year, year after that, we're not leaving anywhere. Reigning D2 champs, hopefully top two this year. Let's go. Costa, let's ride. So, I mean, we bring 45 athletes up here because we think that even if we want to be a really successful program, we got to have depth. We camp, tent camp for a whole week, and we have a whole kind of village that we set up with parents that help cook. So we have one big table, one big long table, and we all sit there like Harry Potter style and eat dinner. Part of it is just because we camp, the kids have to spend a lot of time together. We have a board at our camp that has the quote of the day and the agenda, and it also has the word of the day. And then every night at 8.15, we kind of gather as a team. We go over the word of the day. We kind of have a little coach's talk. You know, we have words that we try to focus on that are like tenets of our program. Like today's word is purpose, you know, because we want to always do things with a purpose. And what does purpose mean to us? So we're just trying to set up some of the foundation for when we get back home, uh, we've got kind of the words and the ideas and the themes that we're going to touch on throughout the season season that hopefully will help us have a successful year. Five minutes. Five minutes, Sadie. It's gonna it's a predicted time run, so they've predicted how fast they, they run it. Now they're gonna predict how fast they can race it. Then they're gonna start in 10 second intervals. So they're gonna be kind of alone. It's at 8,000, 9,000 feet elevation, so it definitely is a bit of a struggle for air, but yeah, it gets us fit. And he'll work, knees up, on your toes up the hill. Well, my coach kind of got me really hyped for the season, and stuff like this just gets us so excited because everyone's improving so much from last year. We got Lucas predicting 1215, ran 1240, yeah. predicted 1733, and ran 1713. Woo! And the winners of this year's predicted time, Bailey and Alo with yeah. minus seven. Yeah. All right, you guys probably want to get out of the water, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. They've been doing their work. That's just a testament to, to them as a team taking ownership of it and making it happen. Oh, 
I didn't put this, get this one, get this one, this one. Come here, come here, come here. Put it on the plate. I didn't put this. Put it on the plate. This, this, this is the last team team dinner for the boys and the girls together. So this is a just a big gathering. We have we have group we have teams like we do team challenges and stuff like that. So every team has a priority. They they cook. One team cleans, one team cooks, and and it is kind of rotate throughout the the week. Yeah. So they they have to they do everything. They, I don't do anything. <laughs> friends especially on the team like I mean we have freshmen to seniors it's like we're all friends at school and it's just really cool to have the same team camaraderie that you know no other sports have because hey. Hey. you know what's the most important thing about a high school uh, cross-country runner is they enjoy their season you have to enjoy your high school experience and that's what we get out of this uh, every kid that goes through our program will have a good time will enjoy the program uh, it's not just for the fast guys, but for the whole team. Getting in college is so competitive these days. We see acceptance rates like under 10%, like all over the United States, and it definitely helps to be in a sport like this. And most of the kids are on cross country, they have high GPAs, and that's part of the discipline that they need in, in their schoolwork and on the track. That running atmosphere is just so great, and it gives you that determination, makes you feel like you can do anything after doing like a big run. And it's just great to take a team up to a, a trail and to have them reach, say, the summit of a trail and enjoy the vistas. And that just brings people together in a way we can't do back here on the track or on our local trails. You know, it's a place to find a place to belong. Everybody is, everybody has their own stuff, but it's really a nice place to belong. The culture has completely changed. When they go on vacation, they're sending me their Strava, they're connecting with everybody else making sure that they're getting the work done. They fall in love with the friendship, the camaraderie that is within the cross-country structure. The bond that's created through the shared hard effort on a day-to-day -day basis creates a, a trust and a relationship among our athletes that helps them both as runners but then also as people and as students.